Please don't be convinced by what people say. I'm not brilliant. I'm not a genius. I'm not even gifted, really. I mean, I'm, I have gifts, but these are things that all come from God and through me. Everything that is out there, everything that's, that I'm privy to, you know, so are you. If you get that into your system and get that into your spirit and understand that, um, you know, we're not separated by anything, not time, nor space, not talent, nor gift, just acknowledgement and understanding where our gifts come from. In order to promote something higher, I mean, I feel now at the ripe old age of 25 that the only thing that I could do is, is serve others. You understand what I'm saying? And, and because there are people who have not reached that point in their walk, you know, yes, there's a little anger, there's a little resentment because you, you raise a standard you know, you, you, especially when you do it and, and you make some noise and you're saying something that holds a mirror up to a lot of the negativity and self-indulgent things and messages that a lot of other people, you know, but, but we're all young. For me now, I'm learning that it's more important to be righteous than to be right. I've tried to be right. You know, this is right. This is an injustice. This is a travesty. I'm right but I've been very unrighteous and still right. You know, I, I live in this physical body. This is like my address, like 22 Eater Terrace. I just gave everybody my address, but that's my address. <laughs> <laughs> Fight me, no. But this is where I live, you know, but there's something much deeper. Who I am, you know, has nothing to do with, you know, the hair and, and the shoes and stuff, even though I like shoes. Well, I pray for the people who don't understand me. And I tell you, to be honest with you, I pray more now to understand than to be understood. I pray now to, know, to learn how to love than to be loved. Because our enemies are not physical bodies. They're actually our family. They don't know it, and we don't always know it. But our, anim our, our enemies are not, you know, they're not flesh and blood. And our problems are not flesh and blood, even though we think they are. Until you conquer the enemy in yourself, you can't deal with anyone. In order to be used by God, you have to really be used. You know, we always want to be used for the glorious jobs. Let God put me on the stage in front of the people in the Grammy show with a nice dress on. Let me just praise your name. But that's not being used. Sometimes in order to be used, you also have to be humiliated. You know, love is, is an incredible thing. And we don't know love like we should. We always talk about, I have unconditional love. Unconditional love is, we don't even know it. Because if a person stops stimulating us, we stop loving them. We're all trying to get to this next level without, as my, my brethren says, without the next level finding us. You know, it's like life is, is, is peaks and valleys. And some people think that that, some people explain that as good times, bad times. But I actually think it's learning or, or, or let's say, learning mastership, learning mastership okay or study mastership study mastership and that's what ha you stay stuck on top of one on one hill one mountain when you know God's intention is that we study and master a bunch of different things but you know once you're on the top of that mountain you have to go this way and then once you learn and you go through that you on the top of another one so I would just encourage everybody never be afraid of not knowing never be afraid of not knowing you know find out because that's how you get you know to mastership let's not be mediocre in our greatness you know what I mean like think big think big and think in doses think in experiences and don't be afraid of experiences that teach you